Hey guys, I'm Danny, a friendly neighborhood colorist and in this video we are going to do a Japanese anime kind of look. So I saw this on Instagram a few days ago by Aorin. So shout out to Aorin for creating this amazing look. So the first time I saw it, I thought it was really straight out of an anime but then she showed some of the behind the scenes. It was shot on an A74 and then I also get to see some of the process of what was added onto the footage to create that look. So I'm very excited to break down this look today and then we'll recreate it with some footage that I have when I was in Japan recently and I was shooting on my FX3. So let's start off by breaking down some of the characteristics of this look. So right off the bat you'll see that the highlights are very yellow and the yellows are pushed in so it wasn't in the original footage and the shadows are leaning towards blue. And you also can see that the shadows are a bit lifted so it, it won't go right down to black so we'll have to do a bit of adjustment there and one of the important things i think about this look is the softness so you can see that it has a really soft overall feel a very a bit glowy but i'm not going to use the glow note later i'm going to do something else all right so now we kind of know what we are trying to achieve so let's get into the grade so i have my clip here for today and i have two clips one is inside the train when it's facing out so you can see a bit of the seats so you can judge on the shadows and also a bit on the highlights and the next shot is this one pointing towards the station where the train is going 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 so it also has shadows and highlights that are very nice and there's this light bars on top here that you see really pops out later on so i'm going to grade on this and as you can see i have my note tree already set so we are going to use six notes today the first one is highlights, primaries, look, curves, CST, and then soften. So you can pause the video right now and add these notes. And I should also show you my color management. So I'll go into my settings, color management. So I have my color signs at DaVinci, so I'm not color managing. And timeline color space, I have it at DaVinci White Gamut Intermediate. And output color space, Rec 709A. So I'm editing this on a Mac, that's why I have it set at Rec 709A. But if you're editing on a Windows, then you should have it set at Rec 709 Gamma 2.4. Alright. So if you're familiar with my videos, we always start off with a CST. I'm going to go into my effects panel and drag a color space transform into my CST node. And for input color space, I have it at Sony and input gamma s log 3 output i'm gonna go rec 709 and output gamma gamma 2.4 all right and the rest i'm just gonna leave it as is so the csc will bring us from a log profile into a display color space which is rec 709 2.4 and you can see that the image is looking pretty normal right now and we're working upstream from the CST to preserve some of the data that will be lost if we are working in a Rec 709 color space which is downstream the CST so we're going to jump back into node number one which is highlights if you know me I like to see more details in the highlights and in anime the highlights are not really clipping so because it's all drawn or animated so highlights won't actually be clipping so what I want to do here is go into my qualifier I'm going to go into Loom and I'm going to go for low 65. If you want to see where you're selecting, you can turn on your highlight key right here or you also can press Shift H. And I'm going to go down to my low soft to soften out the qualifying. I'm going to do a 20. All right, so I'm going to turn off the highlight. Then I'm going to go into my primaries and highlights and just turn it down to negative 100. So you can see that the details in the highlights are pushed down and there is more blues in the sky. So the next node is primaries, but I'm going to ignore primaries for now because there is not much correction that needs to be done. So I'm going to jump straight into the look. In this look node, I'm really going to push it towards the direction that we want. And I'm going to bring up this image that I grabbed from the reference. And we can put it side by side to see how far that we are going to push it. So I'm going to kick things off by pushing some warm into my highlights, which I'm using gain for the moment. And I'm going to push it towards the orange. So I'm kind of okay with where it sits right now, but I'm going to continue to push some blues into the gamma. And you can see that it sort of balances out a bit. 
so I'm gonna need to push more warm in the gain later on alright so let's pull it back a bit let's flip it the other side okay so I'm gonna push more warm into the gain alright and balance it out with the gamma okay all right so i guess we are kind of there but i also have to push a bit of blue into the lift so i'm going to do that so it's a bit hard to describe how much to push because each footage has its own characteristics i'm just going to play around and see what kind of look i can get and i can really feel the need for a panel right now so that i can move two dials at once but i'm just going to go manual this time to show you guys and I'm going to push more warm into the gain. Alright, so this is the look that I've set. There's a bit of warm in the highlights and also there's blues in the shadows. But right now, the blues in the shadows are standing out a bit too much. And I'm going to go into my curves. In the curves node, turn on my editable splines. And I'm going to lift up the shadows and using the spline to turn it back down. So I'm dropping everything down but not too much because we don't want to go full black. And lifting it up again, dropping it down again. You c I'm watching my scopes here so you see that it doesn't actually touch the bottom. And I'm also going into my highlights of the scopes, dropping it down and then lifting it up again with the spline. So this creates sort of like a faded look and it protects your highlights and also your shadows. And I'm going to drop more on my shadows. I can also pull the spline out to darken more of the footage. So I don't want it to be too dark or so. I want to lift it up a bit more. All right okay and i'm kind of happy with this look if we turn off the look node and turn it on you can see that it really adds a lot of yellow in the highlights and a lot of blue in the shadows okay but one thing i want to do is go back into my look node and go into my primary log wheels and push a bit more blue into the shadows okay like this just a little bit all right save that and it's a bit dark right now so i'm going to go back into my primaries to my gain view and lift the sky up a bit more all right and also the shadows are looking a bit dark so i lift it just a bit all right and lastly is the soften so i can't really use this blur tool because if i blur it the whole thing will just look blurry so what i'm gonna do to give it a little bit of blur is go into my mid-tone details and drop it down to negative 80. and you can see that there's more blur in the image which really sells the look of the anime so let's see how this look works out on my next clip I'm going to go to the next clip, right click and apply grade and that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. And you can see this yellow glow from the lights above and I love that. It just adds more feel and tone. So one more thing you can do to really sell this anime look is to shoot at a fast shutter speed or low shutter angle to have more stutter in the footage which is present in Aerin's video and this is another look that I have the sun in it so it's more natural to have yellow skies but this clip requires a bit more tweaking in the look so that it matches up with the rest so this look is pretty pushed and you can see that there's more trouble balancing between the clips so that's something you just have to deal with unless you really don't care that it matches so let's break down the look once again let's turn everything off and so first i had my csc to turn it from s log 3 into rec 709 color space and then we preserve a bit of our highlights over here and we go straight into the look 
to create this yellow highlights and blue shadows and then we go into our curves to pull everything down make it look a bit faded cinematic if you will and i also did a bit of brightening in the primaries and lastly we soften up everything to really sell the anime look so this is the final grade So I hope you like this final grade. It's a very stylized grade and you probably won't have a chance to use it for commercial work but it's a very fun look for social media. And thank you Irene for creating this look and inspired me to edit my Japan videos. That's all for this video. If you like it, drop a like and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.